it really was wonderful because it was so utterly united. And when the carriage, in order to get down Whitehall and past the cenotaph and everything, everybody there was totally silent because they knew that's what the Queen would want. Judy Birdwood was a girl guide during the Queen's coronation, which meant that she was one of just 200 young girls invited to take part along the Mall. And it was a great treat. I was wearing my uniform, which was an, a navy blue shirt. I had a whistle, which was to call for aid if I needed it. I had a marlin spike, which was to get a stone out of any of the horses going down the mall who might have a stone in their hoof. But I remember most of us clambering, which I'm sure we shouldn't have done, uh, onto the Victoria Memorial outside Buckingham Palace because we knew the Queen was going to come out there in a golden coach. There were a lot of people in the Mall who had been there for about three or four nights. They'd slept in tents in order to have a good place. The Queen and Princess Margaret had been girl guides. Princess Margaret went up to Durham to take the salute. It was about a fortnight before the coronation. And for months, we'd been going every Sunday where we learned the rudiments of proper marching. 32 million people watched the Queen's coronation on TV and 300 million people are expected to watch the Kings. Just as there was for the Queen's coronation, there will be street parties across the country. So there were people absolutely crammed into living rooms watching a small television set with anything to do with the coronation. We all had big tents in every street. Everybody had coronation chicken, which is still one of my favorite. The original coronation chicken contained food from every country in the Commonwealth. Judy hopes that she will be able to join the crowds near Buckingham Palace for the King's coronation. However, due to her blind disability, she may have to join those listening to it on the radio.